All right, good morning. We are at home inside of Diesel's pen. And the grass is long again. So, we're gonna take out our new lawnmower. I'm excited to. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, pull it out of there. There we go. There she is. Second time we get a user. That's awesome, eh? We got, uh, if you're wondering what kind I bought, the Briggs and Stratton. Whatever that says, 500E series, 140cc, five foot pounds of torque. Wow, that's some mean grass cutting machine. All right, we're gonna mow the lawn now. Get it done with, right, Diesel? You gonna do it for me or what? No? Okay. So we're all ready to go. Got our jacket here. Got our gloves, helmet, my wallet. Got pants on. Got shoes on for the motorcycle safety course. You need to be wearing sturdy boots that cover the ankle. So I got those on. We're all ready to go. We're gonna be super early. We're never early for anything, but it's the motorcycle course. And today and tomorrow, got four hour classes. And then the next day, Friday, July 26th, I will be on the road on my CBR. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, let's get going. All right, we've got a few errands to run before we actually go to our class, so we are at Home Depot. Home Depot and Walmart is next after this, go figure. And I gotta get a few things from here, fix a few things at home. I gotta get screws or bolts for my license plate on my bike. Right now they're just sort of tied on there. And I gotta bolt that license plate on there so it doesn't fall off. That would suck. Get a ticket for having no license plate. Uh, it'd be a great start to riding. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go in there and I'll talk to you when I get back out. All right, so you remember this Walmart from when we went on our lawnmower adventure. This is the one that didn't have the lawnmower that I wanted. But hopefully they will have what I want. Now, what am I going to Walmart? Oh yeah, I gotta get food for my fish. <laughs> Oh, that's a crazy driver up there. You see that all over the place. All right, St. Vitale Center, my favorite place. Hold on to you here. Nobody coming. No stop sign for me. Give her, give her, give her, give her, give her. No stop sign, no stop sign. Okay. You go around here, you make a left, and then it spits you out in front of Walmart. I love Walmart. Ever mention that? I love Walmart. Alrighty. Walmart. Where should I park? Where? Oh, where? Wow, it's busy here today. Great. It's 4 o'clock. My class starts at 6, so we're just going to quickly be in and out here. And we're gonna rush over there to uh, get in there early. 
pressure. I will be nice and you can go in front of me. Oh, but you're going to be nice too and go behind me. Oh, that's nice. Everybody's being nice. All right. Oh, boy. What kind of shirt was that guy wearing? Did you see that? Ten points for going out in public like that. All right. So we pretty much just got a few little snacks and stuff. Food for the dog. Food for the fish. Some milk. Some meat for later on. We're going to put this all away and we're gonna head to our motorcycle class this is what I got at Home Depot like I said just a few nuts and bolts and whatnot to uh, attach my license plate to my bike so it doesn't go flying off and then I got some crazy glue to fix my bed because my bed frame came apart so I'm gonna crazy glue the sucker back together that's right nothing breaks in my house I'm the fix-it man all right now we go to Timmy's. Okay, Tim Hortons on St. Mary's Avenue. No, St. Mary's Road. Road. Yes, Timmy's. Tim, Timmy's. Tim, Tim, Timmy's. Tim, 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 Timmy's. Give me my Timmy's. Going through the drive-through because we're not in our truck, which is a privilege. See that roof right in front of us? That big green one. In wintertime, I've always wanted to take like a, a little GT or a sled and just rip down that thing. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Here we go. Hi, how can I help you? Can I get a medium coffee with one cream? Anything else? That's it. One sixty five, please. Thank you. One sixty five. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee, coffee. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Excited. All right, so we're coming into the downtown area. Winnipeg. My home. Well, close to it. I live in the country. I don't live in the city. I'm not a city boy. But I live just outside of Winnipeg. Hey, hey. Green light. That was green. All right, so we are on Main Street. Actually, this is still St. Mary's Road here. There's big buildings up in front of us there. That's Portage and Main. I've shown you that before. We're gonna turn left. Oh wait, we can't turn left onto Portage. So we gotta turn left over here onto St. Mary Avenue or Broadway. No, not here. This is Broadway. Yes, there's a Broadway in Winnipeg. There's our train station on the right. Does anyone still take the train? Don't people just drive nowadays? Red light! Timmy's. Timmy's. So I'm not too sure what to expect in this motorcycle class today. All I know is that they're going to teach me safety. And they're going to give me my license. I really don't care what they teach me, just give me my license. I want to drive my motorbike. Rain light! Rain means go! Who's honking? Stop honking! I'm going. Someone honk? Maybe I'm just hearing things. Alright. More traffic lights. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, after these lights, there's going to be St. Mary Avenue. We're on St. Mary's Road. I know, it's Winnipeg, right? Nothing makes sense. So we're going to turn off of St. Mary's Road onto St. Mary Avenue. We're in the right lane already. Perfect. fall over now. Sharp corner. All right, here we go. And we immediately turn right. We want to get onto Notre Dame Avenue. This is going to take us through. People everywhere, of course, because we're all going home at the same time. Oh, geez, we need to fix our roads down here. Thanks. What are you doing here, Mr. Copper? Mr. Cadet, Mr. Cop in training. Okay, so we are on, uh, what road is this? Fort Street, right? Fort, yes. Because Winnipeg was originally called Fort Gary. Lower Fort, no, Upper Fort Gary. 
Yes, and then we renamed it Winnipeg at some point or another. There is a lower Fort Garry down the river near Selkirk. The original uh, English fort when they settled here. And then St. Boniface was the French fort. Everyone always had forts back then. I only had a fort when I was a kid. I don't have forts anymore. Okay, this is Notre Dame. We're on Notre Dame now. Okay, good. I knew I knew where I was going. Now we're looking for 1680 Notre Dame. What are we at right now? It's so nice. People would put numbers. We're at 249. Oh, geez. We got some. Good. We're going to be a little out of downtown. I don't like being downtown after dark. At least the rain went away. It was pouring rain and there were tornadoes around my house, eh? There was at least five funnel clouds spotted right around my town. Some of my friends from work uh, apparently got pictures of it. So that's the news for today. That's pretty interesting, eh? Tornadoes. But the storm passed. And as long as we uh, don't have rain, it'll be perfect. But rain or shine, we are learning how to ride a bike today. All right guys, we're here. Can you see it? Wipe the window. Safety Services Manitoba. Pumped. We're an hour early. Actually a bit more, it was an hour and a quarter early and I think there's someone else who's waiting here too, so I'm not the only one who's this excited. <laughs> There's another guy waiting in his pickup over there. Oh well, so we're the two hardcore ones, I guess. Let's just get her done! So I'm gonna be sitting here listening to music and uh, answering my phone call. Neverville Dental, my dentist is calling. I should probably answer it. Hello? This is him. So apparently it's time to get my teeth cleaned. That's probably right. Try not to smile too much today. So I gotta create an appointment to get my teeth cleaned soon. That's all covered by my work insurance, so it's free. Anyways, yeah. Oh, my dentist is so funny. Friendliest people in the world, little East Indian couple. I can barely understand them. Hello, hello. I'd like to be talking to Joshua, please. <laughs> this is him. Oh, hello! I know I do a terrible accent, but you can just imagine it, right? It's pretty funny listening to them. Anyways, speaking of that, if you guys want a good laugh, uh, look up Russell Peters. He's a comedian. You can look him up on YouTube. He is from uh, the Ontario, Canada area. Hilarious. East Indian guy. Grew up in Canada. I think I mentioned him before. Funny, funny, funny guy. Anyways. Okay, I'll talk to you after the class. I'm not gonna vlog during my class, guys. Uh, first off, I think that'd be kind of rude to be focusing on making a video. I wanna focus more on passing this stupid course so I can ride my bike and make vlogs on the bike. So that's the plan. All right, one day done. We actually got done early, it's only 9.16. We didn't handle much today. We pretty much just learned how to hold on and shift from first to second, which we already all knew. Uh, the group that I'm with seems to be pretty experienced. We all know what we're doing pretty much. So class is going really quickly. They don't really need to spend a lot of time with us uh, explaining a lot of things to us, right? So yeah, it went really good, really good. I'm learning on a, I don't know what year it is, but it's a white CBR, Honda CBR 125R. So it's like a bicycle that looks like a sport bike, sort of. <laughs> it's really wimpy, but it's good because it's really easy to control. And yeah, the class went really well. One more class tomorrow, and Friday, the day after tomorrow, I will be on the streets of Winnipeg, and don't you worry, there will be a moto vlog. I'm pretty sure of it. Unless if something goes wrong with my camera or something, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, I'll probably see you at home yet. Oh, okay, so we made it home, didn't we, Gazo? And he walked away. And we're making steak. Mmm, just bought it from Walmart earlier today. Mmm. And it's gonna be so good. Anyway, so that was day one of our motorcycle training. We got one more day to go to make it two, and the day after tomorrow is when I hit the streets. What a day it will be.
Look out, Winnipeg. <laughs>